of all, I am sorry for the echo. I am trying to figure out how to make this echo go away, but no matter what I do, it just keeps being here. And uh, second of all, I am sorry that there has been like forever since I made a talking video on this channel. Uh, Metal month, month just took completely over. That was on my main, ch main channel with 14 different guitar videos, guitar cover videos uh, in one month and it was just crazy. And I realize now that in retro perspective, retrospective, I'm not sure. I realize now that afterwards uh, that I should sort of make some uh, statement or so in the beginning, beginning of August that there wouldn't be any talking videos. But either way, we're now back and we're back with full force and we're going to make a Q&A today and I'm so excited! So let's start with the Facebook questions. Will you use the SG in more videos now that it's fixed? So first of all, this is the SG that I have and it had a grounding issues which made the uh, guitar like making really really weird noises as long as you didn't play on it. So when you tried to mute it, it was just going all over the place. But it's now fixed and uh, yeah, be on lookout for some SG videos. I'm, I'm not sure when though, but yes, I really want to use the SG for more videos. Next question! Do you like Emperor Opeth or Death? Uh, why don't you cover those, please? Uh, it's a really funny question in terms of timing because I used to listen to Opeth quite a lot, but then I somehow it, it somehow just slipped away or I don't know how to uh, phrase it properly. But um, the day before this question uh, was asked, I actually started re-listening to Sorceress, the newest album from Opeth. Uh, and it's so funny because it has been quite a long time since I listened to it and then I restarted uh, the listening or so and um, the day after this question came and uh, I know that I have a lot of requests for some songs of death to cover them and um, I haven't checked out Emperor that much but I think that if Emperor is sort of in company of death and uh, Opeth, I think that they might be the same genre or so, and I really really like that an Opeth, Opeth. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, ch I'll check them out and listen to them, and um, if I find some songs that I really like and really like to play and so, and there might be some covers here and there. So last Facebook question, do you like acoustic guitars? I love the sound of acoustic guitars, but I personally uh, the guitar that I have, this little Ibanez right here, I think you can see it, I think so. Uh, but yeah, the Ibanez that I have, I bought it because it was the most beautiful acoustic guitar that I have ever seen. Uh, and it still kind of is really, um, but as I matured as a, not only a person but as a guitarist as well, uh, looks became sort of the... Um, not that most important thing uh, when it came to a guitar and to be quite honest with you it's not the best guitar to play uh, my brother has a Yamaha acoustic guitar and that also has a specific name that I can't remember it like on the top of my head and that's a really really good uh, acoustic guitar to play so uh, if there are going to be acoustic covers I might borrow my brother's uh, Yamaha but I really really like this one so I'm going to try some different strings and some different like settings on it because I really really want it to be a good guitar to play because I, I love it so much uh, but uh, personally I'm not used to playing acoustic guitar so I, I will need some more practice to sort of get more in the game in terms of um, playing acoustic but I love the sound of acoustic guitars so yeah. So we're over to Instagram and there are so so many questions and if your answer is <laughs> If your question is not answered, uh, I hope that um, you sort of get some um, Some answer to your question either way through other questions because I see some of the questions are the same like essentially and um, Yeah Let's just roll! Are there any genres that you no longer listen to but that you used to love? No, I really don't think that there is because I I have one genre that I don't really listen to that much and I never have. 
So I don't think that I have some music that I used to listen to that, that I don't anymore. Um, because I went from Guns N' Roses and Motley Crue and that to Avenged Sevenfold and Metallica and that and then to Lamb of God and Slipknot and that. Uh, and still we are in the same sort of line of music-ish. Uh, it is rock and roll, it is metal, it's not really that different. It's, it's different but it's not, it's not really that different in terms of what uh, they could have been. Uh, because when I was quite young I had some friends and I still have this one friend. She's like hardcore into uh, like rap music and hip-hop and such and I have never really uh, personally like that. Uh, I can see that there are good music within every genre no matter what genre you just have to find that gem or so um, but personally I don't uh, look for rap music and I think that is the only genre that I don't really listen to that much and whenever I I sit in the car with uh, with her uh, she always puts on rap music and when she says like okay you're in charge for music now I always put on the most heavy uh, that I know uh, because I, I feel like she does the same we put on the most extreme things that we both listen to because we know we're so different it just has become this uh, this joke betwe between us and it's really funny but um, in terms of genre that I did used to like that I don't really like anymore uh, no I don't think that I have changed that much in music listening so if you wanted to change your pickups which guitar which <laughs> okay okay let's try again if you wanted to change your pickups which ones would you choose and for which guitar Okay, so I have thought about this actually for quite a while um, because the LTD that I have, I uh, used to have active EMG pickups in it and then I changed that to some Seymour Duncan slash humbuckers um, but I'm not really happy with it. Uh, it's not the sound that I want. It, I think it's a cool sound but it's not the sound that I'm looking for. Um, so I think that I might put the EMGs back into the LTD and when the slash humbuckers then are sort of available or so, I think I might try to actually put those in the SG guitar uh, so I can sort of change things up and so. And I think the SG would actually look pretty cool with the uh, humbuckers as well. So what is your favorite Metallica, Avenged Sevenfold and Motley Crue song? Uh, the okay, let, let's okay. Not thinking about this. Let's say Metallica, Spit at the Barn, Avenged Sevenfold, Save Me, and uh, Motley Crue, Red Hot. Not thinking about it. Just saying it. I might like regret it, but I'm just okay. I, I can't think about it too much. Just okay. Those are the ones that I'm saying today. It might change tomorrow. But yeah, for today that's the ones. What's one metal rock song that you like more as an acoustic version rather than the full metal rock version? And re the reason I picked this question is because I think this is a really, really interesting concept. Uh, because regardless of what genre you're coming from and what sort of version you're making it to, uh, I think that if it's well done, I think it could be a cool version either way. Um, and I remember that I had a, uh, when when my guitar teacher was sick one time in high school, I got this substitute teacher. I don't know if that's the word, but uh, yeah. And he, when uh, when I came into the room, he was just sitting there jamming, and he actually played a jazz version of Iron Maiden, and I think that is one of the coolest things that I've ever heard. Um, and I've tried to recreate it, but it's so difficult because I don't know what he did. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's a really, really cool thing to, to do. But I think that also, uh, let's say, since we're in metal jazz right now, uh, I think that jazz versions could also be cool if you did it right in the metal way. But I think that, um, personally, I think it's cooler when you go from metal to acoustic than from um, than from calm versions to metal versions because I think it's uh, from calm to metal is a really typical recipe or so. People seem to do it like one specific way uh, and I think that it's time to um, sort of get some 
new ways of doing that into the game, but um, I don't know. But I really, really like the concept of it, and uh, from Iron Maiden to just Iron Maiden, that's nice. So, if you had to choose one guitar, which one would you choose, the LTD or the Schecter? I would quite easily choose the Schecter, because I love the Schecter, and also I, I'm not the biggest fan of the LTD, and I've mentioned it in quite a few videos actually, um, and I think it's really difficult to actually talk about it, because it's not that I don't like LTD as a guitar brand or so, because I think that they have great guitars, um, but the the specific guitar that I have, I'm not uh, the biggest fan, because I don't like the Les Paul shape, uh, and the LTD Eclipse has the Les Paul shape, or uh, the very similar Les Paul shape, uh, and I'm not the biggest fan of that, so I would choose the Schecter because it's a really, really much better guitar shape for me personally. This is one of my favorites. Uh, have you ever thought of getting into drumming? At the end, it was actually quite a few questions regarding me and drumming um, because I think drumming is so cool. I have so much respect for any musicians, really, but m drummers? Drummers are cool people and uh, they play with their whole bodies and it's just insane and the coordination between not just your arms like a pianist has really good coordinations with your hands and actually their feet as well but they they have such an explosive way of uh, expressing music and i think it's so fascinating and personally i have so much respect for drummers because i don't own a rhythmical sense in a way that is coordinated enough to be able to drum. Uh, I am actually quite rhythmic as a guitarist and I can keep the rhythm as a guitarist quite well, but if I were to play drums, I am so, so bad at drums. It would be, if I were to make a drum cover video or, or so, it would be just Let's say the video is four minutes long or so. It would be four minutes of bloopers. I promise you, it's it's so bad. But I, I love drums. I think it sounds so cool, and I think it's so explosive and expressive. And quite a lot of times, uh, I I feel that the drums are actually the um, punchline of a song. I think the drums can make it or break it in terms of especially metal music. And uh, yeah, I have so much respect for drummers and I think that drumming is really, really cool and I would really like to uh, be able to play or practice or so, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm, uh, I'm made for drumming because I have tried and when I went to a music course or so uh, after I finished high school, uh, there became this internal joke between the class and me that every time we were going to do some like um, Knipsing, I'm, I'm not sure what it's called, but you were knipsing and you were clapping and you were doing it in this rhythmical pat pattern or so and it sounded so cool except when I was in it because I could not get it right and every time the teacher was like oh we're going to do this now so many people just turned around and was like you up for this and I was like yeah I'm up for it and I just fell off immediately because it's so difficult. I don't know what it is, but I guess it's sort of going well with the being clumsy sort of thing because I'm quite clumsy and uh, the, <laughs> the clumsiness is a lack of coordination and my uh, drumming skills is also a lack of coordination. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I would love to drum. But yeah, let's head over to the Twitter. Yeah, have you been to any? <laughs> have you been to any Lindsay Sterling concert? She is incredible live. Oh, I can imagine so. I haven't been personally, and I follow this uh, Norwegian YouTuber. I follow I follow some Norwegian YouTubers, and I follow this one YouTuber, and she was going to the concert, and I was like, is she playing in Norway? And I didn't know. What? So I was so disappointed that I, I didn't like catch it that she was playing in Norway. But no, I haven't been and I really really want to go because I have so much respect for her as a person and as a musician and as a dancer and entertainer and she's just insane. And uh, and she, she seems so lovely and she's so talented and just she's amazing. I would love to go see her live. So next, do you... <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't read today. Do any of your Norwegian friends and family speak English or like American culture as much as you? And I think that this quite explains why vlogging is so hard because no, my friends uh, don't speak English at all. I think uh, they are able to, but they're not in the um, setting that they're actually doing it. Uh, if people came up to them on, on the street, like tourists or so, and was like, oh, can you point me to there and there, or where is la la la, um, they would be able to answer them because they know English and they can speak English. It's not that they can't, it's just that it's not many scenarios in Norway if you don't seek them out that actually um, place up to you actually using your in English knowledge, especially in a speaking sense, uh, you can write a lot of English, but you don't actually talk a lot of English. And I think that that is actually quite the shame because I personally feel like I have gotten a lot better at speaking English and my accent is quite heavy still and I don't want to get rid of my accent, but I speak a lot more easily and fluidly. And like if I think something, I think I'm a lot more able to sort of just say it and it might not make sense but at least I'm trying to like formulate what my, my thoughts and so but no my family and friends don't speak English like often and um, and that also makes it really really weird vlogging uh, because I spend a lot of a lot of time with my family and a lot of the things that I think that this would actually be really really fun to vlog um, they are around and it's so weird for me to like take out the camera and start to speak English uh, because it's not a normal thing here not in in my like yeah, circle or so um, but uh, no they don't speak English that much I'm not sure how they feel about American culture because we talk a lot about things that happen in America but I think that also might be um, a reflection of how the media in Norway also works because it's it's a lot of focus on, on America uh, at least now that um, your president has a few stunts here and there um, but uh, I, I'm not sure if they're like that into uh, American culture that I am I actually took a course in American history not too long ago um, which I, I, I just absolutely loved it um, and I think that I might be the most interested in America uh, but I know that they like America and that they are able to speak English but it's not it's not that usual that we actually like it, it's not that usual that it's actually natural for me let's say that we have a Christmas dinner or so and I would like to docu document to everyone that's not Norwegian how we as Norwegians or we as my Norwegian family uh, celebrate Christmas and have Christmas food and uh, every tradition and, and so I would really like to document it but it's so weird like taking out a camera a camera it's that's weird in, in itself um, and and then started to speak English. That is like the biggest barrier for me, I think. And I would really like to get over it. I don't know, but but yeah, we don't speak English like regularly. And uh, I would really, really like to start vlogging now. But uh, yeah, no, they don't. And uh, yeah. Were you ever a big fan of Guitar Hero? Favorite game of the series? Those games got me into rock music. That's really, really cool. I really like Guitar Hero and it's actually quite funny because I, I started playing Guitar Hero before I played regular guitar and uh, at first I sort of instead of playing like, like this or so I laid it down and I played like, like that uh, and that's actually how I started playing guitar as well, it's ridiculous um, but I started playing Guitar Hero and I really liked the music because it was music that I usually listen to and um, I, I really like Guitar Hero and I think that Guitar Hero is a great way to get into music uh, and as I started playing guitar I actually got worse at Guitar Hero it's so difficult to play Guitar Hero now because some of the songs that I'm playing on Guitar Hero I actually know how to play so it's so natural when you are Let's say you have a slide from the 3rd fret to the 14th fret uh, and in Guitar Hero it's just a button from another button 
and it's so natural then to just like slide all over the fretboard and uh, you only have five buttons so uh, yeah I really like Guitar Hero and I think Guitar Hero 3 is my favorite uh, almost just because of The Devil Went Down to Georgia it's awesome I love it and Slash was in it and Tom Morello was in it and it was just a great great game and uh, Guitar Hero Metallica is also one of my little favorites, but I think Guitar Hero 3 is the coolest one. So, last question! Will you please do a cover of This Is Halloween? I love Halloween. And it started last year that uh, when October was done, I was like, I love this month. Uh, uh, being exposed to like, uh, especially American culture, um, because Americans like uh, Halloween. They they like Halloween, like hardcore like Halloween, um, and having so many uh, Americans sort of commenting and like saying like, oh we're doing this and we're doing that, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is so awesome. And in Norway we don't have any like fall traditions, so it's just like August school begins and then it's December uh, Christmas begins. So in between here it's nothing, and I love having the a Halloween vibe and so so I would love to do some some cool stuff with October in terms of uh, both my YouTube channels and on Instagram and everything so I, I have thought about covering this as Halloween but uh, I'm not sure how I can do it like originally because then like I said before it's it's sort of a recipe or so of how to make songs from this genre to another genre and I would love to cover This Is Halloween and I think it's such a cool song and I absolutely love it and I think it's it's maybe the coolest Halloween song that I know uh, and uh, yeah I would love to cover it but uh, yeah, if you have any Halloween suggestions or so please comment because I love Halloween and I love October and spooks and everything and I didn't used to, but now I really, really do. I, d I don't like horror, mo horror movies uh, still, but the uh, the aesthetic of Halloween, I love it. I love it so much. But uh, yeah, we're running out of time. Oh my god! So this is going to be a really long video. And if you're still here watching, thank you so much for watching this entire ridiculousness of me answering questions. Thank you for the questions and I will see you next time. Bye!